Because sometimes you just need 11 books of a naked woman on gravel road. Hi, it's Divi G. What is Legends Fans for? And Legends Fans for gonna show you some book covers that make you say, mmm, that's sus. So last time we talked about Miss Nick getting her coin, and of course, there is more. First up, we have whatever this genre is. Um, women with a glowing hand. Some of them have a midriff that can slice and grate cheese. You don't really see these types of covers too much on mass market paper ads. Like you're not gonna see this in Waterstones, right? But they're very common on eBooks and digital format. They're not inherently ugly or bad. They do communicate the fact that it's a fantasy book, like the colors are very true to the genre. But I think a lot of the times they're just not very inspired. A bit overdone at this point. It's a bit like Tesco value of book covers. The fire and the smoke here is like, I quite like the colors, not sure why there's a bouquet. The typeface and the texture adds a nice elegance to it. But the face, super 2016 heavy makeup look. And with its thighs, it's straddling that like slightly uncanny valley where it's not quite a digital painting, but it's also not quite a photo. Some of them look like they didn't make it past America's Next Top Model round one. And some of them look like they've got a head transplant. I think a lot of the time, the pose and the perspective lets it down. They're just well. standing and they're literally just looking at the camera like this one's, this one's decent. It's not quite woman with a glowing hand. And it's like the idea of the camera, like the camera being below, <laughs> definitely more interesting gives a sort of power to it. You also get a hint at the fantasy world behind them. He's at least bending down, you're doing something. Giving me, I'm about to fall in love with my brother who turns out to not be my brother, but then I end up kissing my actual brother. Speaking of women staring at cameras, at least these two parent trap twins are looking in different directions. Siblings or dating? Miss Born and the Poppy War. They're not identical by any means, but the vibes are there. You've got this whole sketched looking black and white charcoal slash ink drawn look with a pop of color and swirling smoky shadows. I mean, I think the Poppy War is more reminiscent of like Chinese ink wash paintings and they're both gorgeous in their own right, but it's us, us. Miss Born. Again, Miss Born is either a trendsetter or an outfit repeater. Now these two are just a bit... <laughs> That's a violation still. They're both falling from heaven and even the serifs on the font are looking kind of suspicious. Big data and privacy, just before we continue, a really quick word from our sponsor today, which is NordVPN. I mean, in this day and age when everyone worries about privacy, so companies stealing and mining your data, it's in general kind of like a no-brainer at this point. And NordVPN is generally one of the safest out there. Computer has an address called an IP address and your VPNs kind of mask this and your data and the location of where you're at. I like to frequent Starbucks, cafes, or anything like that and just do your work there, access to the free Wi-Fi. And I would seriously consider Consider making sure that your traffic is private. NordVPN helps you do this. You know when you want to watch a show and they're like, <coughs> sorry, you have to pledge allegiance to the US flag to watch this show. <coughs> Luke. What? You can use the VPN. Just pretend you're Betty Suarez and you're logging in from New York when really you're in Bradford. NordVPN is super reliable. You can have it on six different devices. There's a deal going on so you can go on nordvpn.com forward slash it's Divya. Get a two year plan and get a month additional with a discount. Using my code it's Divya and I hope that this helps keep some of you guys safe. Mm, these two. This one's giving me a more Desi vibe. Is that Mendy? I don't know if that's meant to be Mendy. I hope not. Ayo. Siblings or dating, the reds, the glow, the outfit. I'm pretty sure this is the same artist, but come on now, Kiao. I don't know why, but these are all giving me a look like, uh, they're about to call me a racial slur. But this one, for sure. This one would have bullied me and then called the manager. These were all made by two artists and they've done a bunch of works for other books that you've probably seen. And I just love it. Giving me carefree teen, about to stick their hands out of a car, driving really fast down a tunnel, listening to Bowie. This looks super cool. It was just like molten metal almost. 3D rented ornamental design is a huge up and coming trend. And it's an opportunity for 3D artists. These were all also done by the same artist who also did a bunch of other covers. They managed to see. Like they're book 10 ready. They're getting that coin now. The covers are gorgeous. They certainly catch your eye at least because they're quite new in this space. Now, arguably they're doing a little bit too much. 
but that's up for debate. The Hawthorne Legacy feels like it has a stronger focal point. But if you gave me these three books, I would think that without the author and the title, I would think they're part of the same series or they're by the same author or it's like a spin-off or something. I feel like the style is like so specific to this artist. They're kind of using the same base template almost for all of these books. It's a bit strange, but then again, it could just because like we aren't used to seeing this type of 3D art as a trend yet. If you see it, cover clones, at me on Twitter or just leave me some comments or anything. Yeah, please leave your support, like, subscribe, comment or whatever for my birthday if even not for me because my birthday is in like a day or two <laughs> and i would love to reach like 100k i want that silver plaque i really want i don't even have my degree framed but i want that youtube award and i'll see you guys next time hug and then we go we go here we go